Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to make wet and dry sand. All right, so for this little experiment, we're gonna use our friend Roberto, and it's gonna be very simple. And if you haven't seen my my master class on attributes, you should see it on the channel. That will totally help you understand what we're gonna do today because it's all in the attributes. All right, so we had a Roberto here and we're gonna use the shelf. Let's go to the grain shelf and uh, use the wet sand preset uh, to start off. Just let you know, uh, click the wet sand uh, shelf tool. Now we have uh, our initial setup. Uh, let's just organize this a little bit. So this is our Roberto, this is our simulation, and this is our result. Awesome. So we have some grains here in the viewport now. Let me make those uh, points bigger. So now we, so now we have this initial uh, grains here in the viewport, and now we're gonna do uh, some attribute managing here. So let's go to the uh, node here that we have, and I have a few other geometries here. If you uh, support us on Patreon, you can get the scene and get the complete. Uh, scene and see what I did in the original uh, scene for this. So you can see I have this, just have a box, uh, another box and Roberto by itself. Okay, so now uh, I just have a node here to put Roberto on the floor. Uh, it's important because of collisions. Now the setup creates this grain source, which is we're not going to touch at all here. Uh, the important part here is this wet sand node which creates this wetness attribute, which is going to apply to all the uh, the grains here, but we're not going to use this because we don't want to add it to the whole thing. In the code, you can see it just um, makes the attraction weight uh, equal to zero, and then it just makes it, uh, it creates the attribute and then makes it equal to that attribute here. Uh, we're going to override this scene with our own attribute. And for that, we're going to create an attribute bop. So let's create an attribute. Uh, uh, attribute bop like this one. And let's call this uh, dry wet sand. We're going to go inside here and we're going to use, let me make this bigger. We're going to use a Baines, Baines node. And we're going to connect the position to that position and we can pass this already to the color. And now you can see we have some color there and it's, if we go, if we make this farther, we can kind of see what's happening here You can see that's what's happening with Roberto. So basically what's going to happen is, uh, the, uh, the white areas is going to be wet sand and the darker is going to be dry sand. So basically, we can actually finish here, but I'm going to just tweak it a little bit. So let's create a fifth node so we can um, massage this a little bit. I want to uh, contrast this. You can see now we have more defined areas like that. And I can put a little bit here in. I don't want this uh, black areas to be co uh, completely zero. Let's give it a little bit of uh, wetness. Because it might look a little bit too extreme, but that's kind of what we want uh, a little bit there. I'm going to put another fit here before this one to have extra control here. And I'm going to try to expand the size of those dark areas a little bit. Something like that. You can see now we have a mixture of dark and white areas there. We can even go to the veins node and maybe make this veins uh, different. You can see we can give it more veins, less veins, uh, give it attenuation or, or remove it. If you give it more, it will make some areas a little bit gray and stuff. But since we are crushing the colors with the fits attributes, it's just kind, kind of giving us black and white attributes. We can play with the frequency if, if, if that's what you want here. In this case, we're just going to let it be. Kind of like that, I think. Let's see, let's give it more uh, variation. 
Okay, so that's gonna be okay for now. Let me give it some direction here, like that. So we have kind of slices there. Okay, so now if we go to uh, simulation, where is my simulation? If we go here, uh, we have nothing to collide with right now, but it's gonna run, okay? But we need something to collide with, so let's create a ground plane. Ground plane. Just merge that here and put it in the first input. I'd like to do that. And if we run this, it should collide with the floor. Yes, it's staying there. And now you can see some of, of, of the parts are falling and some are not because these parts are uh, the dry sand and the other ones are the wet sand. So let's uh, press L to organize this. We can actually uh, bypass this grain color here. If we rewind, you can see here uh, the actual colors that we assign. And you can see that this guy, it's falling because of the, uh, oh, actually, I'm totally not uh, using the colors yet. We need to go here. I forgot this step, actually. Go in here to the wet sand attribute. Uh, in this attribute wrangle, we need to overwrite this uh, line. So let's copy it and leave that there. And we need to pass the color, actually. Pass the CD color R. Just put the, the, the red color there. And now we're passing that to the to the attraction weight here. Uh, so I, I we were actually not using that before. The whole thing was going uh, was uh, had wetness on the whole uh, model. So now it's gonna use our colors. Let's uh, play. Now you can see this behaves totally different, and it's breaking in the areas that the the sand is dry. So white is is more wet and uh, the dark areas are dry sand. So you can see it's breaking really cool there in those areas. And basically the effect is done like, like this. You can just uh, play with your settings, but I'm gonna show you a, a few things here. First, I always like to use the OpenCL mode here with, with grains. I, it uh, simulates way faster in my case and uh, it, it uh, it's way more stable in my experience. So you can see now it's simulating way faster here. That's faster. And you can see it's ripping off there. We can see this uh, with sprites now. Let's change this to uh, to enable sprites. So it looks like those uh, grains. You can see that's looking pretty cool. Now you can see it's lighting a lot in the floor and I had a little bit of uh, tweaks to make it uh, behave better, but the overall wetness, it's it's working. So this is dry and this is wet. Of course, you can make that make this more interesting, make make different clumps and make it more noisy. But I just wanted to explain you how to get this kind of effect, because whenever you add this kind of a noise to the attributes in sand, it just makes it makes the sound look a little bit uh, better. Uh, so what I did to get this uh, better, I activated the drift threshold. The drift threshold makes sand just behave way better. You can see it's not sliding as much now. It's just now it kind of, kind of sometimes it kind of pick, picks up speed by itself. And for that, I just uh, did more constrained iterations, basically. I just uh, didn't make it, made it uh, do more constrained iterations. And that will. Uh, and that will make it behave a little bit better. Still kind of slides a little bit too much. So what the other thing you can do is go to the behavior and uh, put the static static uh, threshold to one and the kinetic one to 0 0.097. And that would uh, make it behave a little bit more. But now you can see these guys uh, don't fall as much. And, uh, and that's great because we're having more uh, threshold, more uh, static threshold. Uh, but now if we give it more particles, let's say CO3. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to change as you add more particles. You can see we have more resolution now in the, the noise that we added. But you can see now they are 
falling a little bit more, parts are falling uh, because it's heavier uh, and it doesn't, it still doesn't crack here in this area, but uh, it will when you add more particles. But you can see right now it's working as we expect, it's falling from those areas. There are uh, dry sand and the, the wet parts are uh, sticking together. So if we add more uh, particles, for sure it's going to fall. Uh, I don't want to have you here waiting for this simulation. So let me just uh, resume here with 0.02 and uh, let me show you what happens. All right, so I simmed for a few minutes, two or three minutes. It didn't take, it didn't take that much. But now you can see it's breaking in the right places. Uh, it's, it's less solid with the dry sand is. And everything is behaving a little bit better. Uh, I really recommend you guys uh, use the. I really recommend you guys use the static and uh, scale thresholds here, uh, static threshold and scale kinematic because that makes the sand behave uh, way better than uh, anything else I've seen. So now, uh, just just to finish this, you can see this is pretty simple to to actually uh, do, and to understand this, please see my masterclass on attributes. So basically, the thing we're controlling here is this attribute right here in the in the clamping section. There's there's this uh, weight attribute for uh, you can see the name is attraction weight, and we're controlling this guy. Basically, it's, this is not one here. Right now, this becomes uh, uh, like a multiplier. So whatever we're passing from uh, from SOPs, it's being multiplied by this value. So that's what happened here. And uh, if we go back to uh, SOPs here, you can see this guy, we, we control it right here and we're controlling it with this variation of colors. So that's exactly what we're doing. And that's how this effect works. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this one. It's pretty simple. So just need to add more particles to this let it simulate and then make a nice render with this uh hope you guys enjoyed this one i really did enjoy um, researching this so that's it uh, i'll see you guys in the next one let's keep learning together cheers